In the previous two videos, we saw examples where the left-hand side of the differential equation could be written in the form where we're effectively using the product rule backwards. Okay. Now, here is another example where that is not currently the case. It's not currently in the form where we can do that. The left-hand side is not a perfect derivative. But is there a way of us multiplying through uh, the equation by something, by some function of x, that will enable us to get it into that form? Now, it's not going to be immediately obvious as to what that should be. Okay? But I'm going to show you a way that we can do that. So let's say we multiplied through by x cubed. Now, multiplying both sides by x cubed, you might be worried about introducing extra solutions. Um, the situation is that we're dividing through by x here. So x equals 0 is not going to be a solution. So multiplying through by x cubed seems like a valid move. We're not introducing anything. Okay, as long as we know that x isn't 0. So multiply through by x cubed, and we're going to get x cubed dy by dx plus 3x squared y is equal to 4x cubed. Now you might be wondering, well, where's that x cubed come from? Uh, well, that's going to be a whole part of how we solve these differential equations in general. So hold on to that one. Okay, hold on to that question because we will, I will show you how we come up with that soon. But the point is that we've multiplied through by something now, some function of x, such that now this left-hand side is a perfect derivative. It might, not it might not be immediately obvious as to what it is uh, at the outset, but you do get used to it, and you can see that actually it's d by dx of x cubed times y, because x cubed times the derivative of y is x cubed dy by dx, and y times the derivative of, three, of, sorry, of x cubed is 3x squared y. And we've got the 4x cubed on the right-hand side. When we integrate both sides now, we get x cubed y is equal to x to the 4 plus some constant c, and then you can divide through by x cubed to get y is equal to x to the 4 plus c over x cubed. Now, of course, you could write that as x plus c over x cubed if you like. Okay, But that's the general solution to the differential equation that we started with. So what we can see is that if we could find this function of x to multiply the derivative through by, then we can get it into this perfect derivative form and then we can solve the differential equation. So, the trick now is, how do we find what to multiply through by? And that's what we're going to introduce in the next video.